Yandra Banaka, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another bloody beautiful day here in Fiji. Check this out. Just dropped the kids off at school. Met my mate Hunter, you guys have met him before. Down at the boat. We have some fishing gear. We have some spear fishing gear, and Hunter even has some scuba gear. We don't really have any plans, but check this day out. Freaking amazing. So we're gonna hit it, do some exploring, and see what we come across, and we're taking you with us. Let's do it. So we're just out here in the middle of nowhere, fanging along, and check this out. We've just gone over this. That is 30 meters up to about seven meters. So never been here before, never seen this before, but when it looks like that, it looks too good not to just drop in. That was at speed, so obviously we're not marking any fish in that on there, but yeah, we're gonna, uh, I don't know, I'll drop in, see if I can anchor. If not, we'll just drift it and uh, yeah, have a little look, see what's there. Check this out. Heaps of bait fish on here. Heaps of fusies, I can see fusies out here. I can see little reefies. Man, this looks good. This doesn't look amazing, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to get in and check this out. That is loaded, dude. And they, those fish look nervous as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna take a spear gun. So with all the activity on that pressure edge side of this bommy, um, yeah, we've decided to anchor up because I'm pretty sure we're gonna spend a bit of time here, just especially because Hunter's got his scuba gear, he's gonna explore this little bommy. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get some dinner. So yeah, we've anchored up, looks amazing. I'll see you in the water.
Alright. Beautiful little coral trout for dinner. Just me and the girls at home at the moment. That is perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect size trout. Just me and the girls home at the moment. Rebecca's back in Australia doing some stuff. That was awesome. First five minutes being here. We are having fish wraps for dinner tonight. Coral trout tastes bloody beautiful. We actually got to be careful here about uh, cigaterra. So, you know, I don't usually eat them much bigger than this because when they get bigger and bigger, they can accumulate cigaterra and, and make you pretty crook. So, uh, awesome. So I'm just going to gut and gill this guy and get him on ice. Really important to gut and gill and get him on ice, especially reefies. Awesome to get a win in early and take the pressure off for dinner. So, sick, sick bomby man. Love this little spot. Awesome little dive, exploring some new ground this morning. Um, I think what we're gonna do now, we'll, uh, while it's still glassy, we'll just trawl around this area. Um, you know, we didn't see any Mackies while I was down diving, but it doesn't mean they're not here. Some of the bait was really skittish, so I did see some bluefin trevally, so maybe that's what was scaring the bait. But yeah, we'll trawl a few lures around, see if we can find ourselves a couple of Spanny Macs. Well, we trawled along for quite a while there with not much luck, or actually zero luck. I think it's too early for Mackies at the moment. The water temperature is still like 31 and a half degrees, so not, uh, not cold enough for those guys to come in yet. Heaps of little like skipjacks jumping around. I don't know if you can see that off in the distance there. Um, but yeah, not really interested in chasing anything like that. So I'm gonna wrap up this part of the video now get a few things done, pick up the kids a bit later and I'll catch you guys back at my house and we might do a little bit of a cook up. Okay guys, it's obviously a fair bit later in the afternoon. I'm back at home, kids are inside just getting sorted. I got a little coral trout friend here and got a fire going uh, just down the side of the house. So I'm just gonna scale this guy, quickly make up some uh, damper dough um, and then we'll get the damper in the fire. We'll get this guy on the fire and we'll put some tunes on and chill out for the night and eat some awesome fresh coral trout and Aussie style damper in Fiji. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is just score this guy a little bit, maybe like a little bit of a diamond pattern so it cooks a bit faster. Um, and then we'll chuck him in this little uh, grill and then just put that straight over the top of those coals. Should be delish. Nothing better than like campfire taste 
on fish, like cooking fish in the campfire just takes it to a whole new level. So I'm just gonna rub like a little bit of butter on the outside of this so it just goes that crispy, browny, buttery amazingness. But I have a little helper. Hello. She is going to be making our damper. So basically, I've made this on the channel before. If you haven't seen it, like old videos, I've done this. So self-raising flour, some butter, uh, and usually beer, but I haven't got any beer in the house, which is crazy, right? but uh, we we're gonna use milk tonight. So self-raising flour, butter, and milk, and these little hands. <laughs> okay. So why Denver is kneading all the damper dough together, I've buttered up old mate Trouty. Like, I'm, I'm actually salivating looking at that raw. Yeah. Yeah? Good? Has pink eye. <laughs> right, so that's ready for the fire, but we, the damp is going to take way longer in the fire. So we just sit him off to the side, we'll get this into some foil, and we'll get it in. Okay, guys, so the dough is now ready to be put in the fire, but first we need to get out the foil, spread some butter on it, and then shape the damper. Okay guys, so we're shaping it now to the kind of shape we want it to be. We want it to be Can a nice dough, or a nice ball. Okay. Oh yes, that looks good. Okay. Okay, now <laughs> we wrap it up. Time. It's gotta be delicious. Let's go put it in the fire. All right. I'll move our little our logs here. So what we'll do is we make a bit of a hole in the, uh, make a hole in, what's it called? Coals. <laughs> we'll make a hole in the coals. <laughs> Forgot. Woo, it's hot. It's so hot, this fire. This is not gonna take long. All right, and then we'll pop our damper. Yeet it in. Woo! Burn yourself. I think it's going to be too hot. It's going to burn it. It's going to burn real quick. Yeah, because then if it cooks too fast, then only one side will be burnt. It will be burnt on the outside and not just in there. Maybe we should put it in the oven. Alright, then we just put coals over the top. Something about poking a fire is just amazing. Looks so pretty. Alright. Okay, damper is in the coals. Freaking hot, so I don't think it's gonna take very long to cook. Um, so we might get the fish, and we'll put that on pretty soon, I think, because otherwise that damper's gonna end up charcoal. Smoke. All right, so he's on. Damper underneath. Fish on top. Happy days. Oh, that's sizzling. Okay, let's give this guy a flip. Oh, oh my god. Look at that? that looks phenomenal. Let's have a little look. Oh, it feels really burnt underneath. <laughs> right. Why did you use that chopping board? Mom's gonna look on you. We'll take this inside. 
and we'll have a look. Moment of truth, I'm expecting a bit of charcoal because that was bloody hot. <laughs> Lots of charcoal. So we'll chop that burnt bit off, but that, let me get a knife. Oh my god, it looks so bad. Oh. It's so hot. Everything's so hot. Oh, it's still raw in the middle. Oh no, but it's gonna get burnt on the outside. Yeah. That's Stop what me. happens when it's too hot. This is a disaster. Not a disaster. Just take the raw bit out. There we go. Look at that. Tastes good. Mm. Okay, so we've got our trout. We've got our damper without the burn bits. <laughs> we want food. And we've got our taste testers. Go, who's going in? Me. Me. Oh, no, no. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very smoky. Love smoky Campfire flavor. taste? You like? Oh, kind of mm, more. Mm. more. Actually, nah, that bit's better. This perfect piece. You need to try some. This is like so good. Mm. Well, the meat is enough? like so tender and nice. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for joining us. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. If you've watched it this far, I'm guessing you're a regular or I'm guessing you're new to being a regular, so welcome along. Um, I've just got to say one thing. I am sorry for those regulars that have been liking our regular uploads every week that it hasn't been happening, but I've been working on something massive. I've been working on something huge for like four months um, and it's pretty much taken up most of my time outside of doing charters so um so pretty much just been doing charters and working on this project but it's wrapped up it wrapped up today basically only a few little loose ends to do so i'm going to start pumping out uh, a video a week again at least um, and i'm going to share that project with you guys probably in the next two or three videos you're going to know all about it thanks for coming along and see you in the next one